What's up, fam? We're on the beautiful Waiheke Island. We've just ferried over from Auckland and we're ready to go get you guys some Kaimawana. Now, check it out. What we're going to do is we're going to set up this trap we've got pre assembled to try and get some colder or crayfish. And then what we're going to do is try and get a tuna or eel. I've got my main man here, Alexi. Hi, guys! And we're going to go hit it. Come on, let's go. Yo, what up? So we've just come down off the beaten track and we're finally to the dam that we're going to drop our traps in. What we've got here is our rig number one. This is for catching the tuna or eel. Uh, we're just going to chuck this in with a simple bit of pig that we caught last weekend. So yeah, we're putting our meat to good use here on Waiheke Island. Our second trap here is the um, kolda or kiwai trap as they call them in the north parts of the North Island. Um, and this is just going to be plopped right into the water to catch those little craze. All right, here it goes into the water. Let's see it go. Whoa, Shit. big splash. Now we're just going to tie it off around this tree here. What kind of tree is that, Mako? Oh, this is a uh, uh, panga. Yeah. Panga fern. Panga fern? Yeah, bro, my ancestors You're... would eat this shit, G. Yeah, my ancestors live in these ones. Yo. Chit. One other thing you didn't know about the uh, panga is that the Moldy would actually use them as a trap to uh, catch these ku the, not these kutai, these uh, kiwai that hang out in the water here. Hey. So they'll they'll pile the ferns on top of one another, and then they would put I don't know like a dead ship rat or something in there. Hey. And then they'll bundle it together with flax, and then that would trap all the little uh, freshwater crayfish in there. Did wow. You know? Did you know? Fuck. Huh. Learn something new every day. I'm learning, I'm learning. Look how beautiful the uh, the greenery is here. Untouched by humans, I think. Yo, so with that eel eel hook down, eel hook down, I'm figuring um might as well chuck this a little bit further away so the eel's gonna get caught there and if he's a big motherfucker he won't mess with this. So we'll just chuck this one in. And um How careful buddy. Let it sink down there. Yeah, she told you mate, oh, steel. It's actually quite deep in there, Farno. Oh, it's still going now. Jesus. And um, preferably, oh, I'll just tie this over on this shit though. Easy peasy, eh? Well, we'll tie that up, eh? And then we'll we'll head and go get some cockles for you. Yeah. And um, yeah, come back and see if we've caught anything. Cool. What, what up, up, fam? Yo, so we just. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. What, what up, fam? Yo, so we've just set up our traps down at the stream, as you've seen, and we're gonna um, go to this beach now by And um, we're gonna just collect some tuangi, or cockles in English for you. And what we're planning on doing is buying some um, spaghetti from the store, and uh, making you guys a nice Italian uh, linguine, which is like a little pasta dish. So um, yeah, we'll show you guys the gathering, and then hopefully um, cook you guys up a kai. Cheers, Vano. Yeehaw! <laughs> Oi, Jack, found any cocks, mate? Oh, bro, no, but if you do, you know where to put them. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Someone's looking down on us, Farno. Is it that guy? We're blessed, look in the bucket. Just gonna go check our traps now, Farno. You coming with me? Wish us luck. Let's go. Come down, boy. We got something on the line. What do you reckon? Tuna? Yeah, I think it's a tuna. Oh, it's a nice boy. It's a nice boy. What's fucking big? Woo! To who, my bro? What do you reckon back. about that, G? Walk back with it, bro. Don't lose it. Don't oh. lose it. I'm coming. Oh, good colour on that one, my co. 
you see he's not too um he's not too black and murky he's just a nice healthy perfect girth on him he's gonna be amazing for the smoker my bro fucking a g oh perfect size there mate bring him at, bring him back further oh yeah mate um how do you kill these cats so what we're gonna have to do bro is this is why we brought the knife here is we're gonna dispatch this little bastard in the most humane way possible now he's gonna wriggle a bit because they're hearty cunts but all right let's get this army knife out and now we just want to stab him in the head <laughs> just a gentle little pat on the head eh <laughs> oh fuck maybe spare you guys the gory details yeah, eh? like now, now uncle jack he's good at this brought this one here just to stop the slippage the slippage <sighs> oh, motherfucker. and yeah just a bit of force Ooh. Ah. Wrapping round me like a snake. Okay. Now all his muscles are going to contort. And then that rigor mortis is going to set in. And now he's dead. This is all just nerves, boy. Yeah, he's gone. Woo! Kia ora. Dang. What a beauty. You. Well, came from that eel just to get this trap out. We're expecting some little crayfish or coda or kiwi, but we've got these little fish in here. I don't even know what type they are. Don't even know what. I think it might be our native trout or something else. I don't know. Uh, Fano, if you know, comment below on the comment section. Should be down there somewhere. Two. Five plus one out. Curious. Um, so this is our longfin tuna. This is the one that's endemic to New Zealand. And uh, they're known to go off and migrate to Tonga and spawn there. And then they'll actually come directly back to their stream of origin um, where they were conceived. So yeah, this one could have done the rounds two or three times all the way up there up the Pacific Ocean. And um, yeah, this is a perfect specimen. I've caught ones two times as big as this in this creek. And they're just too fatty. Uh, you can't get a good bit of meat off them because you're just going to be chewing through all this yeah gristle and fat so um yeah we're planning to just smoke this one up and have a good kite and here on our property we only take one of these a year because this is sacred this is taonga and uh we want to protect our um yeah. so out on the bush we have our own um style getting rid of the slime you'll see if people are catching eels off the beach or whatever they're kind of They'll roll it around in the sand and all that icky sticky will kind of come right off. So okay. we've found our good alternative to sand is just a big heap of pine needles. And you just run it back and forth like that. It's like you're brushing a horse. Yep, exactly. Got up. Got up. Um, just filleted that eel and managed to salvage this off it, which now we're just skinning, which is quite an annoying process because it's slimy as. But um, yeah, after we've done all that, what we're going to do is the wood's fucking damp as, so we're just going to go down the road and buy some kindling and light up the pizza oven and smoke all of this. And it will be a oh, delicious uh, golden syrup smoke deal. Cheer, Mike. Cheer, Farno. And there you have it. Yum. Teriyaki eel. Ooh, can't beat it. So what are you doing there, my bro? Hey, bro. Just cutting up some un uh, garlic. What are Maybe we doing? Linguini. Onion. We're making a linguine. Eh? <laughs> All right, I love the enthusiasm. Yeah, um, love, love it. Over here, I'm just washing these cockles. And um, yeah, just washing them and we're gonna do a nice white wine linguine sauce in like a, in a hot boiling little saucepan. All right, see you guys soon. Couple of them opening up now, guys. And our white wine butter cream garlic sauce. Three pans on the go here. We got this the spaghetti in there. This is gonna be our linguine sauce. And then in here we've got all our cockles opening up as you can see. So what we're gonna do as the sauce uh, is going, which will be in this pan here, is we're gonna let all this white wine and cream and butter and garlic kind of reduce down into this thick kind of um 
thick sort of cockily broth and then that's going to be added to the marinara sauce later which Alexi this man in the pointy smurf hat will be hey. uh hey will don't be, mind me yeah he'll be demonstrating it for us all right hey guys you wouldn't believe the smells in this kitchen amazing amy a z i n g uh we just added a bit of the bloody lovely broth that those lovely uh what, what do you call them tuangi tuangi tuangi's uh that bloody juice into our lovely linguine sauce. And it's I'm bubbling away and reducing nicely, Fano. Yeah, yeah, very bloody yummy, Fano. Any tongs? How's it tasting, bro? Mm. So fucking good. So fucking good right now? Oh my god. It's amazing. I can't wait. Well, that pasta was delicious. So what I've done now is I'm kind of getting ready for tomorrow. Combine these three elements, soy sauce, marin sauce, sushi seasoning, and a bit of sugar. I made myself up a bit of a rustic teriyaki marinade. Yum! So, yeah, just tip this all over that eel. Oosh. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Uh. And yeah, let that one marinate overnight and it's going to be fucking delicious tomorrow. Can't wait. Yum, 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 yum. So what's the plan today? Hey bro, just uh, cooking up a feed and then we're going to go on the boat, catch some fish. Cheer bro, sounds great. God, spent all day here, Farno, trying to fix the boat. Um, that's why it's almost getting dark, like we've got another hour and a half of sunlight. And finally, we've managed to replace the hydraulic fluid and do a couple J-turn twisters. And um, yeah, just replacing all the fluids and transmission and whatnot. And finally got this this rolling here. Fucking oh, what a relief! Kia ora whanau. Um We're probably gonna have to take this one out on the water tomorrow. Uh, pity we couldn't go fishing today, but yeah, hopefully add to our smorgasbord of kai tomorrow. Tip. Where are you, Mr. Kedidu? I think I can see you. Yeah, get it in. Yeah, get it in. But your fit is one, G. Kia ora, guys. Okay, so we've just finished our boat fixing missions now, and we realise, holy shit, Farno, we can't even go the whole day without fishing. So the addiction's taking its hold on us. So let's, let's get, get into, into it. it. So the bro's got the bro's got some form of I weight. Me. Looks like a dead weight to me, maybe a shark, seaweed maybe or again. stingray. Maybe I lost it. Ah. It was massive maybe. Fishing slow right now guys, but that's gonna be us tomorrow. Zooming along like them. Oh no. Oh bugger. Anticlimactic mudge. One last chance, Tangaroa. Please give us a fish for sashimi. Yar. Come on, Tangaroa. Come on, Tangaroa. Come on, Tangaroa. Kia ora whanau. Um, well, obviously fishing didn't pay off at the wharf today. Um, Tangaroa wasn't having a bar of it really. Could have something to do with the first uh, ending phase of the moon. So we're going to have to cook up this teriyaki eel that we uh, prepared last night. Well, because, you know, we need to eat. And my stomach is killing me. And look at the time. Been marinating for 24 hours. Tuck it all in. <sighs> Rise and shine, Farno. Um, woo, well we're up, we're ready to go uh, drop a line in the water, woo. looking like a beautiful day today, woo. yeah, boats on the back, woo. ready to go, yee -haw. Yee -haw. Smooth sailing in the new whip, the new Pajero, got two diff locks on it, and 
completely hassle free look at that look at that whano god damn Hi Fano, well uh, we're finally up here and um, look behind me and you can see all of that rain right above us there's dark ominous clouds today Fano. so um, probably not going to leave the bay today in fact we've even got gale warnings so we're going to have to chuck the life jackets on most probably but what we're going to do is we're just going to anchor up and um, chuck a whole bunch of early down there guys and just uh, see what we can dig up from the bottom mate. Eh? Yeah. Could uh just move from there because it got really 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 rough Fano. So uh we moved into this nice little gentle spot next to the needles on Onitangi Beach. And as soon as we Don't dropped, give away the spot! As soon as we dropped we got some big chompers. So um he's hoping. Hello! Spot seems to be work. There's just fuck I'm just not gonna measure him because you know one for Tangador, eh? Back in there. Just another baby, just waiting for mum's come along. And we're on Fano. It came on hard. I don't know, could be a hard fighting baby, but I think we've got to keep her here. Let's bring her in. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's fucking massive cars. I don't know. Oh, well, we're hungry, Fano. I mean,. We do have to eat tonight, so I am going to measure this one, unfortunately. I know he looks kind of small, but I reckon he is sturdy. We need to eat, sorry Fano. I know that we need to respect Tangaro, but we threw the first one back and this one's going to go in the pan. So from the V of the tail there, Fano. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Straight in the yeah. Oh, that's 32, 31, cuz. Yeah, just... Oh, kia ora, Fano. Just uh, hooked up on a nice uh, snapper. Woo! Oh, I fucking foul hooked him. Oh no. Doesn't look that big, eh? Nah. Another boy boy. Yeah. Sun shower. Wow, dude. Tranquil, dude. Wow. That's amazing. It's a double rainbow. It's amazing. I only saw the YouTube video. <laughs> That's amazing. Wow. Hey, imagine being on that boat there. You'll be covered in a golden. Uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be you'll be covered in gold. In gold. The golden pot at the bottom of the rainbow. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What a bunch of lucky guys. Well, family, uh, rain just kicked up full notch. Just as it was coming in, a school of Trevally came in and um, smashed our baits. Yeah. That's the game, a couple. Caught three Trevally in there. Um, so fucking sashimi, Japanese eel, tuna, tuna, runa, buna salad. Sure. We got stuck as fuck. Um, and yeah, it sucked. Kia ora fan bams, um, just got into a fucking massive rut at the beach as you saw from that hilarious picture in the previous frame. Um, yeah, we completely fucking trashed the car, but some very good people helped us out and fortunately enough we caught a couple fish while we were out there in the um, pissing rain. So yeah, how's that for a little um... And what have we got there, can you tell us? That's our Trevally here, that's our more kind of firm looking one. And it's not, then... It's not all just a little snap there. Mm. Primo sashimi quality fish, fresh off the boat. Can't beat it, can't get any better than that. Kia ora, folks. Kia ora, I'm out. Kia ora, Fano. Love it. Love me? Love you? Comment below in the sections. Hit subscribe. Oh, Kia ora, Fano. Here we are. Sushi. That's the eel. This is the sushi. This is some wamaru. Sushi rice. Yum. You, you guessed it, sushi. <laughs> Can't wait. Eel sushi. Kia ora whanau. Ooh, what are you doing now? Putting the eel meat in. Ooh, teriyaki eel sushi. Did you want to put a bit of carrot in, did you? Yeah, well we couldn't find any other veggies on the farm, so... What the hay? Go for it. Grab uh, life by the balls. <laughs> <laughs> so, bunched it all together, we've rolled it. 
You want to get a nice rolling situation going on there, folded underneath, as, as you probably guessed at home there, <laughs> in your lovely couches. And then you just bring this over here. Then it's just going to stick like glue. And it, it does stick like glue, uh, Greg. Um, you just need a bit more water, I think. And look at that. Wow. Wow, finished product. Wow, you... How much you would pay for that? Eight dollars? Eight dollars at St. Pierre's. I think nine dollars for the, for the eel, because that's quite hard to harvest. Go the boys! <laughs> what a hectic weekend! Good fun. Come check our homemade pin. Yeah, we fixed up the uh, the old tumbler ourselves. So the old winch pin was uh, snapped and then we uh, replaced it with a hearty nail. Fantastic character building. Save yourself $150.